the true beginning of the DCU. This is called Superman Legacy. This is being written by me. As a comic book fan, I'm just like amazed at how they really seem to struggle with cracking a Superman movie. <laughs> James Gunn's a smart guy, I'm sure he'll crack it. In a headline worthy of the Daily Planet, James Gunn writing and directing Superman Legacy, a decade after telling E.T. if given a choice of superpowers. I actually think that I would like to be able to, uh, whatever Superman's powers are, that's pretty good powers to have because you can't defeat the guy. While Gunn's IRL powers as a DC executive aren't too shabby, and the fans hope they'll breathe new life into the superhero who's celebrating 45 years on the silver screen. Easy, miss. I've got you. You, you've got me. Who's got you? <laughs> I've loved the DC characters since I was a child. They're incredibly important to me. I knew that this was a once in a lifetime opportunity to do something very different. That's James back in January, introducing his master plan for DC's response to the MCU. He's in prison for putting Superman in the ICU. When they first came to me, it was really, it was about what DC project I wanted to do. Mm -hmm. And the first thing they brought up was Superman. Not only is he tackling the Man of Steel, James, alongside Peter Safran, are entrusted with a stable of pop culture icons. I'm the co-CEO of DC Studios. So as many of you know, DC has been disconnected in film and television for a long time. And it's one of you know our jobs, mine and Peter's, that the characters are consistent, played by the same actors. Life can come at you a bunch of different ways. And faster than a speeding bullet for David Cornisweat, whom Gunn cast as his man in tights, the 30-year-old actor's first ever leading role. Meanwhile, our new Lois Lane, she's a seasoned pro in the spotlight. I haven't heard anything, unfortunately, but I'm, I'm here. It's our last season. I'm about to be available. Rachel Brosnahan with E.T. last year, denying rumors at the time she was cast in a Fantastic Four movie, before Mrs. Maisel traded New York City for Metropolis. Do you have a handle on this at all? After news broke, Gunn said of David and Rachel on X, they are not only incredible actors, but also wonderful people. I work very, very hard when I'm casting. As far as I'm concerned, life is just too short to surround myself with a bunch of jerks. And while Rachel was never Sue Storm, Nicholas Holt, like James, crossing over from the Marvel Universe. Never look better, man. Thank you. Uh, don't mock me. After going blue for the X-Men series, seems he might now be going bald for Batty Lex Luthor. The fans are, you know, are fantastic with these movies and, and the comics. It's a big responsibility. Yeah, just ask a James, who's charged with ushering in a new age of the comic book blockbuster. So, Peter and I, along with a group of very talented writers, have started to map out an eight to 10 year plan of what DC Studios will be in film, television, and gaming. This first chapter is called Gods and Monsters, the true beginning of the DCU. This is called Superman Legacy. This is being written by me. I'm in the middle of it. Flash forward to December, Gunn said on threads that his script was 99% finished. Quote, I'm always changing small things, but it's been essentially done since well before the strike. Power. Power. In the aftermath of Hollywood's months long shutdown, James also confirmed Legacy's flying into theaters on schedule. He wrote in a heartfelt tribute, thanks to the efforts of our talented crew, who never lost faith during the longest strikes in Hollywood history, and who never let their foot off the pedal, continuing to barrel forward, creating the most amazing character and set designs I've seen in my entire career. Superman Legacy will be making the originally planned release date of July 11th, 2025. In every film, you have certain magical moments that you find where the cast and the crew and the production design and everything comes together and it makes me feel giddy. As for plot details, no surprise, those are firmly under wraps. But James has told fans don't expect an origin story. We believe that you came here for a reason. Yeah, he already gave us that on screen, sort of. Gunn produced 2019's Brightburn, a horror twist on Ma and Pa Kent adopting an alien baby. Exactly. Sarah, yeah, morons, like, right? Call the FBI. Yeah, awesome. yeah, yeah. Oh, here's a thing in a spaceship. Let me raise it as my own and hope yeah. it ends up Great. okay. Yeah, this time we're meeting Superman as a young reporter and already donning the red cape. One of the things that's very important for me in all of these movies and TV series is that 
the director's vision and the vision of the writers and all of the creators is unique and something special. Of course, building a cinematic universe meant axing some well-laid plans. Remember this 20-second comeback? Welcome home. Yeah, with few exceptions, guns moving up, up, and away. And if something is outside of that, like Matt Reeves' Batman or Todd Phillips' Joker or Teen Titans' Go, that it is clearly labeled as DC Elseworlds, outside of the mainstream DCU continuity. The universe has sent you a gift, and you have to figure out what you're going to do with it. That's my heart. One, two, three, four, five. Premiere night, James Gunn comes out, and he says, Jaime Reyes will be an amazing part of the DCU going forward. We're getting the cosigns left and right from both, you know, the former DC team and the new DC team. I've had to take it one step at a time. And while the Blue Beetle for now lives to fly another day, not so much for Shazam, Aquaman, or the Flash and that surprise cameo. You're not Batman. What's wrong with you? And they were like, I mean, let's, can we do it without the rubber nipples? I was like, well, it's not really my Batman, is it? I want you all to know that I'm grateful to fight beside my friends. As fans know, this new beginning also marks the end for Gunn's MCU tenure. What is the most valuable thing that you've learned throughout this trilogy that you will take with you onto your next chapter? Really the thing that drives me that's important to being a filmmaker is focusing on the creativity and the storytelling and the characters first and foremost. What procedure, bro? James is a fellow I've held very near and dear to my heart. He's super good at his job. He absolutely loves telling stories. Gunn's longtime pal rounds out Superman Legacy's ensemble, suiting up as the Guy Gardner version of the Green Lantern, while the Righteous Gemstone star Skylar Gazondo plays Jimmy Olsen, the Daily Planet's go-to photographer. That's a lot of light. Serious business. There must be a reason for you to be here. Yes, mm -hmm. I'm here to fight for truth and justice in the American way. And while counting the days till Superman Legacy flies into theaters, we're also pouring over Gunn's massive DCU production slate. The first project is Creature Commandos. This is a story of Amanda Waller, played by Viola Davis. This is a story of a couple of Green Lanterns. The Brave and the Bold is the story of Batman and his actual son, Damian Wayne, Supergirl, Woman of Tomorrow. And that brings me to Swamp Things. I want to be true to you guys and really give you something different than you've ever seen before. Storytelling is always king. That's all that matters to us. I think the most valuable thing I've learned is just that Really the thing that drives me that's important to being a filmmaker is a sense of creativity and play. It is an art, it's also a form of communication, but also to follow your gut with what you feel is authentic and true. I don't think that you can do it without that. 